The objective is to round multi-digit numbers to any place using a vertical number line. Round 52,476 to the nearest 10,000. First, since we're rounding to the nearest 10,000's place, we ask how many 10,000's are in 52,476. And in this case, there are five ten thousands there. Since there are five ten thousands, this is the lower end point within our number line. We'll write it in standard form first. And then we'll also write it within unit form. Next, for our upper end point, we had five ten thousands for our lower end point. We'll add one to the five ten thousands, which is six ten thousands. Six ten thousands is also equal to sixty thousand. And I'll write it over here on the left-hand side because I am out of room over there on the right-hand side. The next thing that we'll do is we will find the midpoint. So we have 50,000 here. We have 60,000 here. If we were to count by 1,000s, it would be 51,000, 52,000, 53,000, 54,000, 55,000, so that is 5, 5, comma, 0, 0, 0. And then the last thing that we will do is that we will place the number 52,476 onto our number line. Finally, we can decide whether or not we're going to the nearest 10,000, whether it's closer to 50,000 or if it's closer to 60,000. And in this case, 52,476 rounds to 50,000 when we are rounding to the nearest 10,000's place. For this problem, we are asked to round 278,205 to the nearest 100,000. How many hundred thousands are in this number? Right, there are two. Do we mark the lower end point? Do we mark the higher end point for this 200,000? is the lower end point. What do we mark for the upper end point? It's one more hundred thousand, which is three hundred thousand. And then we also write that in standard form. The next step is to place the midpoint. So we have 200,000, 300,000, and then halfway in between is the next digit over in the 10,000's place is going to be a 5. And then so we have 2, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that midpoint is 200. 50,000. This midpoint helps us place where this number is. So if it's at the midpoint or higher, it will round to 300,000. And in this case of this number here, 278,205, yes, 
it is closer to 300,000, so that's what it is that it rounds to. So if we express our answer here, it's 278,205 rounded to the nearest 100,000 place is 300,000. Okay, it's time for you to try. Here is the problem. Make sure to use a vertical number line and follow those steps. Pause the video. For the lower end point, did you say four ten thousandths, which is also equal to 40,000? For the upper end point then, that would be five ten thousandths, which is also equal to 50,000. Showed a little bit more work for the lower end point. One more 10,000 again is equal to 5 10 thousands or 50,000. Midpoint should have been labeled as 45,000. And then you place the 47,000 208 onto your number line. In this case, 47,208. Is it closer to 40,000 or is it closer to 50,000? It's past our midpoint, so it's closer to 50,000. And so we say, what is in yellow here? Say it with me. 47,208 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 50,000. That's our answer. One last problem. Round 952,000 to the nearest 100,000. Let's mark a lower endpoint and an upper endpoint and a midpoint. For the lower endpoint, 952,000, we ask ourselves how many hundred thousands are in that number? And the answer to that is 9, or 900,000, which was also equal to those 900 thousands. For our upper end point, we add 1 to the 9, which is 10, which is 10 hundred thousands. 10 hundred thousands is bundled and regrouped and also equal to 1 million. So, we have 1 million written in standard form. Our midpoint, keep the 9, which is the 100,000. The neighbor is then, and this digit here, is then a 5. So it is 9, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's write that there and place our comma. Let's think about this. Yes, this digit is the one that is changing. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is also 910,000, 920,000, 930,000, 940,000, 950,000, 960,000, 970,000, 980,000, 990,000, a million. Place 952,000 onto that number line. That's actually just 2,000 bigger than this here. So it is right about there. And then we decide whether it's closer to the lower endpoint or the upper endpoint. And in this case, it is closer to the upper end point. 
So, we read this as 952,000 rounded to the nearest 100,000 place is 1 million.